Hello, and welcome to this episode of Oil & Octane, where today we'll be taking a closer look at uh, the SCT-X4 uh, Tuner Programmer. Uh, pretty excited to have uh, finally got this, and so uh, we'll be seeing how it works with uh, this particular car, the 2002 Mustang GT, and hopefully in this video we'll be able to get a feel for how it performs and what my overall thoughts are uh, on it, so stay tuned here. All right, so this tuner is from 1996 in newer vehicles. Uh, you probably noticed the packaging is a little bit worn. I did get this used. It was uh, unmarried uh, and has uh, five unlocks uh, left on it. Uh, so I got the full number of unlocks. I think it may have been a, a refurbished uh, tuner. I'm not sure if that's something that uh, SCT does, uh, but just based on a couple things I've observed with it so far. Uh, this one is for Ford vehicles, uh, so uh, SCT part number 7015, uh, you can see right there. And then I'll show you what comes in the box. Uh, first you get uh, just some basic startup uh, instructions, a little pamphlet here to help you uh, familiarize yourself with the tuner. Then you get the tuner itself, uh, which uh, in its smaller size, uh, like uh, the X4, is able to fit right in the center console. Uh, so that's kind of nice if you want to keep it with you. And you can also get a suction cup mount, uh, so you can have it on the windshield for different data logging and such. And then uh, you also get your uh, USB uh, cable for connecting that to the computer, uh, doing updates and whatnot, and then you also have uh, your OBD port, uh, the HDMI, I believe that is. Uh, so we'll be getting this set up. Uh, OBD port uh, on the 2002 Mustang is actually to the right uh, and underneath of the steering wheel, uh, so not sure if you can see it, but it's back in here. Uh, so we'll get that plugged in, uh, and then I'll kind of show you the, the layout of the tuner and we'll go from there. So we have our tuner plugged in here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, uh, so when you first start it up, uh, you get this uh, street use notice, uh, not legal for uh, sale in California. I uh, just hit continue past that. Uh, then you'll have turn key on. Of course, that's getting a little annoying. Uh, so now we turn the key on and then we hit continue. So it'll take a moment to process. And when you first do this, it'll read uh, what your uh, vehicle is uh, right uh, from the computer. Uh, so mine uh, has popped up 4.6 liter uh, Mustang. I don't have any custom tunes loaded on the car right now. Um, so we'll just uh, select 4.6 liter Mustang and then we'll get into some of the options that are available. All right, so once you have the uh, tuner plugged in, uh, you'll see uh, program vehicle is an option. We have some other things you can set up for uh, data logging, uh, vehicle functions, uh, vehicle info. Uh, so we can uh, click that, we have our key turned, hit continue. All these processes take a little bit of time. Once so there you get your VIN number, uh, the current ECU strategy that we're running. Uh, if we back up here, you can see device settings. Uh, exit out of there, device info. Uh, this is important if you're buying a uh, tuner uh, because you want to know what the revision is, how many unlocks, whether or not the tuner is married. Uh, so if you're purchasing a used one, you want to know if it's married or not uh, because if it is, you'll have to have SCT uh, unlock that. So why don't we get uh, back here to our vehicle, and I'll walk you through the programming process. Uh, so we get this notice here first, uh, not for uh, use in California. Uh, we have our uh, key in the on position, so we'll hit continue. This should automatically then detect uh, what our vehicle is uh, based on the ECU and uh, show us the appropriate uh, tune for that. Uh, so I've actually already uh, been using the tuner on the car. Uh, the Shipping on this item was delayed because of the coronavirus. When I got it, I was pretty excited uh, to jump right in. Uh, so I've made a few uh, small changes to the car already, and I'll kind of show you how that works. At this point, uh, you'd be able to select custom tunes if you had purchased those uh, from anyone. Um, but if not, uh, here's just the, the base tune that comes on the tuner. Uh, we'll select that. I'll take another moment to load here. Um, so I've been running an 87 octane tune. I was able to adjust for my wheel size and 
I was able to adjust the idle speed uh, of the car. So I bumped that up just a little bit. Uh, the car idles real low normally. So here, here you'll see uh, we have our, our previous tune options. And now you can kind of see uh, 87 octane. Uh, you can adjust fuel injectors, airflow sensor. Uh, one thing you want to be cautious with these, uh, if you do tune uh, from what I've, or uh, update uh, the device uh, on SCT's website, uh, from what I understand, you will no longer have uh, the option to turn off the rear O2s. Uh, so I'm not, probably not going to do an update uh, on this device. It's something we wanted to be able to do if we uh, run an X pipe, which we kind of have planned for the future. Uh, you can adjust traction control. Um, axle ratio, uh, if you go ahead and do gears at some point, you can turn off uh, the speed limiter. Uh, here, uh, tire revs per mile, so I used a tire calculator on like discount tire, uh, or you can just Google tire calculator to figure out how many uh, revolutions per mile uh, my particular uh, tires would be running. As I mentioned in a previous video, they're a little larger uh, than what would be considered a stock uh, setup in overall diameter. Uh, so we were able to adjust that, and then you can see a uh, rev limiter uh, when you're driving, you can adjust that. And we bumped that up just a little bit uh, so that when we're shifting, you can actually, uh, as you hit red line, still have time uh, to shift into the next gear without it hitting the limiter. Uh, and then uh, idle speed, neutral, idle speed driving. Uh, so we were able to uh, bump all those up just a little bit. Uh, and now... Um, I'll go ahead and, and uh, we're going to make a slight adjustment here. Uh, we'll bump up our idle speed neutral uh, on the car. I'm going to bump that up maybe, uh, I'm going to go 870 uh, on that. I just want to get that a little bit higher. Uh, so when you're cycling, uh, the AC on and off, it's not such a difference in the, the idling. also makes it a little easier starting the car out. Not that this car has any uh, issues with torque, but just with it being a manual. Uh, makes it a little nicer uh, feel. And then we have loaded the car up with 93 octane. Uh, so that'll be our last thing here. We'll go ahead and select that. Uh, so we're set for 93 octane. Uh, all of our other settings are still uh, set up here. And now we'll hit approve. Uh, continue. So this gives a little summary of what you're doing to the car. And there we go. So the first time you do this, it actually downloads the tune from uh, the ECU on the car stores that on the device so you never lose your stock tune and you can always return it uh, to stock at a future time. So nice fe feature. Uh, hopefully this video isn't too boring as you're just looking at the uh, tuner the whole time. Uh, but now we need to turn off the key and then turn it back on. Shut our door here. So when it goes into tune mode uh, you'll hear the fans start to run on the vehicle. Uh, all the lights uh, here and your heads up display will flash, the odometer will go to hash lines and that's pretty normal. Uh, it takes a few minutes to load this up. Alright, so it goes into this clearing uh, diagnostic trouble codes right as it finishes installing the tune and then you have download complete. So we'll hit done, uh, turn the vehicle off, and we'll unplug the tuner. All right, so initially when I did the 87 octane tune, uh, the main thing I noticed having adjusted that uh, idle speed a little bit uh, was just that the car felt a little more responsive as I went to take off. Um, just made it a little easier to kind of work the clutch and the gas pedal. Um, overall driving, um, maybe a slight improvement in some of the mid-range uh, power. But that was just on the 87 octane. Uh, so looking forward to driving it today here on 93. Uh, very excited to see if there's any real noticeable difference. Um, and like I said, this tuning also allows us to do uh, an off-road X-pipe. We decided to go that route here uh, in the near future. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Uh, go for a drive. I'm heading about an hour north of here today. So maybe we'll get some footage uh, on the drive. I can give you my thoughts on how it's handling. Uh, and then uh, we'll wrap up this video at a later time. I'm going to kind of summarize my overall thoughts uh, of how this worked out. So our thoughts on the SCT tuner. It's been about six months uh, that it's been on the car with the 93 octane SCT tune. The car did feel 
a little better pulling out of the driveway. Anytime you've worked on it and drive out of the driveway, it feels a little bit better, at least in your mind. So we were going to try to measure uh, the results to see what the real difference was. And we found that using like phone GPS timers or that sort of thing, you don't really get an accurate sense of what the car is doing. We got very inconsistent readings. Your, your phone just doesn't ping off a satellite frequently enough uh, to get an accurate reading. So we saw numbers of zero to 60 times, 10 seconds, seven seconds, three seconds. This is not doing it in three seconds. So not accurate. Uh, we have ordered a draggy device. Um, I'm excited to get it. Uh, we'll do an unboxing video. Uh, we'll do some testing with the car. Uh, once we get that but in the meantime we're hoping to just get some more of our videos edited uh, like i said it's been kind of a, a drought as we've been pretty busy with work here through the summer uh, but we're going to start trying to to show you some of the videos we have been still modding the cars of course uh, and we've been filming that as well so uh, we'll be trying to get you some more uh, videos uh, we've got some brakes coming on the bmw uh, we've got the x-pipe on this it's actually on the car right now uh, but we did film that and we're excited to show you that. Of course, uh, the tuner being awesome for being able to turn off the O2 sensors once you do the DCAT. So we've got an off-road X-pipe. Um, we have shocks, springs. We've done those a couple times and probably still aren't done tweaking suspension. So stay tuned here on Oil & Octane for future videos. Uh, like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video.